Halo Sobat Milenial, jangan lupa like, komen, dan juga subscribe YouTube channel IDN Times. Dan jangan lupa juga untuk nyalakan loncengnya. Hi everyone, uh, today I have an honor to talk with Professor Mari L. Kavangestu, Managing Direct Director of World Bank, famous Indonesian and also distinguished fellow of Eisenhower Fellowship. So, Professor Mari Elka, can you tell me about your experience during the Eisenhower Fellowship? How does it change you and your career? Uh, thank you, Charini, for your uh, question. And I know that you are going to be uh, uh, also embarking on the EF journey. It's a very special journey. Uh, I was Eisenhower uh, Fellow for the multi uh, no, single nation program sorry, uh, in 1990. So it was a very special program because it was 10 Indonesians uh, identified uh, as potential leaders at the time in 1990 and we came from very different uh, backgrounds uh, and, and uh, so my experience was maybe one uh, of course that we were able to travel around uh, the US in accordance with our interests and because I was an economist I visited a lot of the famous economists uh, in the various universities and I also uh, took courses. Uh, they allowed me to take uh, special courses in, in Brookings, uh, in, in various places. And I also visited all the, the important think tanks. I visited the World Bank where I'm at now, uh, you know, to learn about development and how, uh, you know, economics of development. So it was, uh, I would say, I always tell people who I try to encourage to apply for the fellowship. It's the most incredible program because you can really design the program to your needs mm -hmm. and uh, really to your interests and uh, you know to travel uh, for that period of time in an intense way is just so so special and I think it helped a lot in my uh, future career and you know uh, probably they did a good job in, in picking future leaders because out of the 10 people uh, in my uh, cohort, a number became ministers or governors uh, of provinces. Well, thank you, Ibu Mari. So, uh, in your perspective, what is the impact that Eisenhower Fellowship brings to your career? And what can you say to the young generation who is interested to apply for the fellowship as well? I think the first benefit was to really spend like a period of time. You know, in my case, it was or still two and a half months, right? Two and a half months, you can travel around the U.S., visit the most important places, meet the most important people in your field. Mm. And that gives you a, a very different perspective of what you thought was your field, right? Okay. Uh, and it built network because you end up having good contacts with all those people that you met, right? So I think that's uh, like, it's just like a, a special, uh, special, uh, opportunity to really go deep into uh, what your thinking is on what you want to do and I think it helped me a lot to become a better economist if I can say it in that way uh, and not just an economist in the academic sense but an eco how to I do I apply my economics uh, for the good of my country right uh, second, I think the networking, not just that I uh, benefited from visiting all those places in the U.S. Uh, it's also the, the network that I developed uh, within my own cohort and then future cohorts. And I think the, the we, we built up, uh, you know, I was very active with the Eisenhower alumni at the end. I did a lot of the selection uh, at the beginning. You know, our Eisenhower alumni in Indonesia is very strong and we, we, we have a very good network with you know, all kinds of people from different backgrounds uh, that really also benefited, uh, benefited me. And I think uh, young people can, can see how the, the benefit of network, not just Indonesian alumni, but global alumni, because it's very interesting. I've met uh, EF uh, alumni all over the world and they, when, they, when they read their bi your bio and say, oh, you're an EF. Oh, I'm also an EF, yeah? So it, it builds a special connection uh, that, that is very helpful. And I think finally, uh, you know, America is not the easiest country to understand. Uh, and even I went to school in America, that those two and a half months that I traveled in America gave me a very different perspective of, of America, right? So it's, it's also, I think that the program was actually intended uh, for those who uh, didn't really have a good understanding of America, to really have a good understanding of America, hopefully in a positive way, uh, and to have that, that those connections and those networks 
uh, that will be, be beneficial uh, for, for both countries. And how young were you when you applied for this fellowship? Ah, <laughs> I guess I was fairly young. It's, I don't know whether 30, 34 was a, is a young age. <laughs> 34, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And at that time, you know, it was uh, Iwan Aziz who nominated me. He was, he had gone three years before me and he like, he was raving about this program because he, he's also an economist. And, and, and I, I think, uh, I, think I, I was also quite influenced by his pos positive experience uh, from, from the eyes of power. Last, uh, the last one, your, your message to Charlene is our newest fellow. <laughs> my my uh, message to Charlene as our newest fellow, you've really got to take advantage of this one and a half months. Uh, not just to uh, deepen your knowledge about your field uh, and making the contacts uh, uh, in your field, I think you should take the opportunity also uh, to uh, to learn more about America, right? Yeah. You, you haven't uh, been to school or been spent time in America, right? Yeah. I so haven't. you find opportunities besides the the actual substantial program to learn about America. You know, for instance, what I did uh, at that time, I stayed with an American family. So uh, oh. you can you can ask them to design a program for you where. You know, I think I think it comes through the I think it's the foreign affairs. Every every local county in in the U.S. they have a, like a foreign affairs council. So I stayed at the one of the local council's uh, house just to know, you know, what is what is it like uh, staying with an American family, for instance. You know that kind of experience. And I know one of our fellows. Uh, he wanted to meet Robert Redford. <laughs> he went to Sundance, right? Uh, you know, things like that that are not exactly substance, but uh, uh, improving your awareness of understanding what, what, what is the United States like. So I would encourage you to visit one or two states which are not New York or Los Angeles, right? Uh, somewhere in the middle of America to understand uh, America better.